figure out how to bring a practice there. Um, we can play a game of it, we can remind each other, I can send out a text message system, whatever you want to do. I am happy to do it, but um, that's the way we got to use it. We look back on the part of it. Social media, do not do it. I remove people for this. It's the hottest topic in real team and show the name trends, all that. Um, social media is not a way of communication. If you're angry with someone, do not talk about it on social media. Have a conversation to their face. That's going to eliminate half of your problems right there. Um, I have a zero tolerance policy for alcohol, drugs, smoking, anything that looks like it might be alcohol, drugs, or smoking. Um, so keep that in mind. If something is turned into me that has anything on that, you will be removed. Um, no refunds are given, you lose your letterman privileges. Um, and worse than that, it could come back and, and hurt you when you start to apply for colleges. So be the good girls that I know that you all are. Um, if you want to turn somebody in, you can't do it anonymously. You have to come to me, you have to tell me, but then I won't share with that person who it was that turned them in. Um, good, any questions on that? Absences and injuries. Um, I have a pink form just to talk about absences. That pin is directly from your constitution. Um, I am going to let you guys read through it on your own. Um, basically, the moral of the story is that I need you all here. How many times do you think, do you all know who the quarterback of the football team is? Who's our quarterback next year? Okay, how many times do you think that Davion scheduled a dentist appointment during football practice? <laughs> did he schedule anything? I'm going to go, he probably did. How many times did Davion miss out on a football game because he wanted to go to a birthday party instead of um, coming to practice? How many? Zero. I'm going to venture to say that Davion missed out zero times from the game. So, uh, you guys are all the quarterbacks. You're a precision dance team. You are all my quarterbacks. Wherever you stand on the field, I can see you all. And I need you all here every single time. So please, please, please come to practice. Uh, there are times, of course, you're going to get sick, stuff like that, uh, when we need to uh, miss practice. You need to let me know at the beginning of practice or we will practice. If, um, Girls, that you are welcome to text me or email me with that information. I don't need it to come from mom. If things start to get suspicious, I will follow up with mom and say, hey, was she really late five times because of, you know, I don't know, car wouldn't start or something like that. So I will follow up if I see a trend happening. Uh, but girls are fine with that. I trust you. I believe you. Um, mom, if she was sick all night and she's asleep and you don't want to wake her up, then you're welcome to text her call me as well and let me know that she can't come to practice. Um, how bad is the weather? I have not checked it. Are we okay? Okay, I was scheduled to be here until 8, but I'm going to talk as fast as I possibly can. I don't know. Okay. You guys have your phone on the note, get in some advisory situation, and I can call my meetings. Okay. I'll just do Uh, 
Um, we are going to be very strict on that this year. You need to be at practice in order to be in the game. Uh, you're going to be removed from a competition routine if you miss out on more than two hours of practice on that routine. So we do, this year we did kick, palm, and hair box. So if you miss one palm practice and something in the ball, you'll make up the practice with a partner, something of that nature. Um, but if you're missing much more than that, then we, um, we probably can't name you uh, in that competition yet. Again, this hurts me more than it hurts you. I do not want to pull anybody from the dance, but if we're not at practice, we're not getting better or anything like that. Uh, I'm really proud of everybody in here who's in a different organization, who wants to do band or choir or theater or all kinds of fun stuff. Um, we just need to make sure it works out. You know, we just need to work it out with the drill team and that you can uh, participate in as many things um, as I know you all want to participate in. When it starts to hurt, the rest of your team is just when we might need to scale you back. I'm not going to tell you that you can't do a million other things, because I want you to do a million, jillion things, and I'm so proud of all the people we have in this organization and how well-rounded you are. Um, we just need to figure out what's best for everybody involved. Questions? Uh, UIL eligibility. No passing play and eight-hour practice, uh, practices per week. Those are UIL goals. Those are also the law. Um, I'm going to get off and I try to quote exactly what law it is. But it is the law for us to follow those rules. That's why we follow them. The reason the football team has to follow uh, further for UIL is let's say the football team won something, it could get taken away. Um, you know, if they found out, if someone found out that they were not following UIL. That's not going to happen if we don't go to UIL competitions. But it is the law and it is a good rule. So I follow no pass no play and eight hour practice week. In my interview for this job, I was asked how, what, what ideas I had on, on girls who were failing, girls who were ineligible, what was I going to do about that. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, I had a lot of great answers in my interview, but I didn't have a really good answer to that. I still don't think I have a really good answer to that because it is on you guys to figure out how to do that. I cannot jump into your bodies, I cannot pass your classes, I cannot do your homework for you. If you do not see the importance of your grades, then you are not eligible and you should not have the right to participate in an extracurricular activity. Um, what I did do, because I am 100% on your side, I want everybody here a million times, um, I implemented the tutorial law. Uh, if you have under a 75, you do a tutorial law for the next three weeks, required mandatory lunch tutorial. Um, you get marks and you have to do conditioning if you don't complete them. Um, I only pull tutorial law grades on progress reports and report cards. So I know sometimes you'll, a teacher hasn't entered their grades in and all that. So that's why I only pull them on the UIL days. Um, questions on that, grading, things like that. It's up to you and you can all do it. Everybody in here, I know that you're all capable of passing all of your classes and I want that for you. Um, if you're struggling, come talk to me. We can scale you back. I can pull you from a football routine so that you can go to the tutorials and then you can be in the football game for the next two weeks. Because if you can't, and I have to, and you end up coming to practice, be in that one football game, you could get benched for the next three. So you guys stay on top of it. It's in your hands and you can do it. Uh, if you're ineligible, you ride the bus with the team, um, you wear your warm up, and you have to sit next to me at the football game. So if that's not enough reason, you, know, you don't get to wear your sparkly uniform and you don't get to cheer with your friends. So uh, pass it back. And uh, you may not go on any competitions or any trips if you are ineligible. So make sure that you're keeping up with your grades so that you're eligible to do all of these fun things that we're going to do this year. Uh, any questions on that? They went on the field trip. They did not travel to the competition. Uh, but this year, so there is no line like that. It's not a thing. That thing, nowhere. Uh, any other questions on that? Uh, camp and summer practices. Physical, you have in your packet, you do have a physical in the um, pocket side. Uh, physicals need to be completed and returned to me before we start practicing on August 5th. Make sure you get those taken care of. Uh, the rest of the packet is available online. I'm attending a training on this on June 3rd, so I'm going to be real honest with you, I don't know much how the process works at this time. And um, on the back of the purple sheet in your handout, I believe it's on purple, yes. Okay, so that is the letter that was given out by the athletic director and their department on how to fill out the forms online. It seems pretty self-explanatory to me. Um, and 
after my training, if I have any new information for you, I'll give it to you. Yes, ma'am.
well. If it's somebody that I don't know, um, I could ask to see their ID. Because uh, I don't, I just don't like that. I know you guys, and I recognize your faces and all that, but if it's somebody else, just make sure you be real clear. Hey, you know, we're uncles picking her up, and name is such and such, so that I know who I'm with and you're loving you or two. Yeah. <laughs> um, good. Please do not bring drinks with ice and straws on the bus. It is really messy, and you spill them, and I have to clean them up. Um, and if I have to spend more than five minutes cleaning up your bus, we're running on Monday. We're getting here early and we're running on Monday. So I don't want to get here early with you and run, but I also really don't want to clean up the trash from the bus. So you help me help you and just make sure you get everything cleaned up for me. Um, SAT, ACT. So if you are scheduled to take an SAT or ACT this Saturday after a football game, I will let you leave after third quarter. Uh, so that you can go home and sleep and study and all that good stuff. I will not let you leave after halftime. Um, like, oh, there, I've been had requests before to leave right after halftime. You need to stay through the third quarter in order to be eligible to perform in the halftime routine. Uh, but then, if you're taking SAT or ACT, your mom can certainly pick you up. You can go home and get plenty of rest because you've got notes on your test. Questions? Occasionally, if there's like a, we're leaving at 5 a.m. to drive to Lubbock to see my aunt whose son is getting something, blah, blah, blah. I occasionally let people go after third quarter, just not after halftime. Uh, no phones, food, drink, or extra bags at the game. We already talked about the bags. Phones, I love our new phone policy here at Hutto High School. Um, I don't necessarily love enforcing it all the time, but I do love our policy. It is great to have the phones away, have everybody <coughs> listening, all that good stuff. Not have us at the football game be like this the whole time. We don't necessarily look like it. We're really that at the football game if we're doing it. So, parents, if you need to get a hold of your daughter, you can text me. You can give me a call, um, so they can call you on the bus before or after the game. Um, but we're not going to have our phones out at the football game. If you want to take pictures, buy a camera. <laughs> <laughs> They're not very expensive. Um, any other questions? No? I know because I don't come out like you know, so. um, uniform. I did provide some uniform cleaning instructions in there. Keep your uniforms clean. Never put that whole skirt in the water. The whole thing never needs to be submerged in water. Um, if for whatever reason, uh, halfway through football season, you decide that you're no longer going to be a high stepper, I decide that or you decide that, um, and you're returning a uniform to them, do not return a uniform wet. If you put a wet uniform and you crumple it up, all that orange leaks everywhere. So make sure when your uniform is wet, it's hung up. Make sure nothing gets turned in and thrown on the floor of my office in a big heap that's all melting together because uh, that's going to damage the uniform, and ultimately I'm going to have to charge you for that because I don't have, you know, just a bunch of extra uniforms laying around. I need mean, every single uniform piece that I have. Um, so just take really good care of your uniforms. They're beautiful and sparkly and all that good stuff. Uh, oh, we never wear our uniform halfway. So after the game, don't, you can't just take off your hat and your overlay and go walk around because that's not a good look. So we want to look clean and professional all of the time. So you're either in your full uniform, hat, overlay, skirt, belt, everything good to go, or you completely changed and you're in your warm-ups or your SpongeBob pajama pants or whatever it is that you want to wear. <laughs> That's my case. Uh, whatever it is that you want to wear. Uh, competition season, I'm not going to talk long about this. Uh, I should have dates to you for competition weekends uh, before we start up in August. Um, we host one, we're going to attend one to two competitions. Plan on at least one Saturday or Monday holiday practice. So either on that MLK day weekend, uh, we discuss when we practice this time, uh, or a Saturday. We <coughs> do need that one extra day of practicing. Um, I guess that's all I have to say about that. Show season, uh, dates should be released before the end of school. And um, after story rehearsals or the week of show, uh, you can probably plan on one extra Saturday or Monday practice for that. Uh, this year's show was later, so we didn't need that. Um, but a show is a little bit earlier, then we could need to have a practice on a Saturday or something like that. So we should have on a show stuff. Dance wear. You all got an order form. So you should have got an order form.
uh, with a pink and white Chevron design in the pocket area. Um, yes? No, you didn't try that on because that's being supplied by Varsity, so we're going to try that on June 6th. <coughs> yes? I think it's just like, just like a normal t shirt. Uh, purple, instead of purple booty shorts, we're wearing our black booty shorts that Return has already had. This is what we're going to buy. Purple strappy bra is being added to that, so everyone needs to get it. The gold act is not that polka dot design, it's just the cotton design. Um, we're all getting that. Leggings are the same. Cami top is new, but the girls you can wear your Friday rhinestone top instead of the orange and black cami top. Um, the rest of this, I think you can read through. The body type is optional. OBT stands for optional. Um, it says tight, so it goes all the way up to here. Um, some people like it. It creates a really nice line. You can wear one. You don't have to wear one. It's up to you. <laughs> Team tennis shoes. Uh, I am ordering some from Academy. I picked out the Nike Flex, the $55 version, black and white. So hopefully that will work out for us. Boots, we're going to talk about your boot sizes a little bit later on. Um, boot coat that helps you clean and polish your boots. So, highly recommended. That's what that is. <laughs>
are going to be paying us involved, I will let you know as soon as possible.